people. Hello, it is that time the tea is ready. I think I did the same on last Sunday's video. I made the tea and go to the garden because that's what I do. I make the tea and I go to the garden. So my parasol arrived yesterday for, and it's much bigger than I thought. The box is huge and the weights are heavy. So I'm going to assemble that. That's one job we have in this week's garden video. And I'll show you the parasol up, even though it's typical yet in Ireland, you buy a parasol and you buy a parasol in Ireland and it rains. That's <laughs> all I did yesterday. But I think it's due this week, there's to be sunshine. I think on Friday it was like 20 odd degrees. I was like, whoa, that's a good sunny day. So the seating area is starting to kind of take shape. We'll set up the parasol. Then I have that flower bed that I want to tackle and put some snapdragons into. It's looking not nice at the moment. It's just past. And I got free trees from Phone Box Man. And I was with Karen on Saturday. We were doing the beach cleanup. And she gave me some plants as well. So I think she gave me some Rebecca that she did from Seed. And I don't know what the other one is. See, she, she labels her plants. I give people a plant and I'm like, there you go. And they're like, what's that? And I'm like, Surprise. <laughs> I love people who label their plants. I will one day be a person who labels their plants. So let's set up this parasol and then let's satisfyingly weed away that bed and make it pretty again. I have a ton, I have the last of the mulch left. Remember that ton bag from earlier in the season? I have a tiny bit left. I'm absolutely sweating. <laughs> My parasol is too big. Well, I think it's good to have a big one anyway because if you have people over, but the um, as I was trying to put it up, you could probably see it was getting stuck on the fence. So I had pushed it back, but now I need to push it forward, but the weights that hold it down are really heavy. So I need to faff about a bit more. This is, first of all, I think my parasol is too big. <laughs> go big or go home. But it covers, in Ireland I think you need a parasol to shelter you from the rain. <laughs> like you could definitely sit underneath this if it was raining, light rain. And I think it would, yeah. It started taking me an hour and a half to just put that up because it was heavy and then I, I moved it here to there. Oh. Anyway, I think it'll be nice in the evenings if there's a bit of a breeze or something. Just gives me a little bit of shelter and also for the sun. Also, in last week's video, I was saying how I was looking for a fire pit. And I saw this one. I needed just a small one. I haven't lit it yet. I got this in home store more for like 30 quid, maybe 40 quid. Um, because I'll only kind of use it throughout like, you know, the summer in the evenings. And then I can store it in the shed. But yeah, it has a little, it's on a stand. 
So I'm hoping that if I need to pop it into the grass, last week I was saying I was concerned about the grass getting damaged. So this is on legs. So it depends if the legs get hot, but it means I can plop it in the grass there. So if it's not raining this evening, I might actually light it and sit out with my book. Now, I've made tea because I'm sweating doing this and I'm gonna tackle that flower bed. That's looking not so fresh. So on to the next job. Actually, just for anyone who's maybe interested in getting this one for Ikea, from Ikea, just to give you like an idea. So I do have a smaller kind of garden, but it's designed to go over like a table and chairs. And then you get a base. My niece was playing with chalk and also hello free tree. And this is the base. Now, obviously I'm after, I need to wipe away the dust on it. So this does take up a large bit of space, just an FYI if you are getting it. I'm sure if you wanted to keep it as a like permanent structure, you could pop flower, you could put flower pots on top, but then if you need to move it, you're gonna have to take them off. So I moved the straws to free up the space. Um, if you saw Thursday's video, the little cushions I made from drop cloth, that's the fire pit. So like it says, it's raised up so I can move it over um, if I need to. But it's just this little cosy area compared to what it was like a couple of weeks ago. It was literally just a dumping ground. So I feel like it's, it's come into a space where I can sit. Um, sunflowers every week, the sunflowers get bigger. Um, so this is the flower bed that I need to tend to. Oh God, it don't look good on camera. So it's just spring bulbs. So this look, if you go back to March's video, this looked beautiful. It was one of the first flowering beds, but um, it's got like, I mean, these were lovely. The bees were loving these. I'm not gonna cut these ones straight away, but I'm just gonna take away um, the yellow tulips and all of that. And then I'm gonna do snapdragons and tidy this up. So here's the before.
So let's have a little look um, around the garden and see what is growing. I think they're Rebecca. But what, that one here, I keep having to water. It's very thirsty. Um, Hydrangea Annabelle. The, some of the cottage kind of garden plants that I had planted also this week. Roses have started to open. Oh, here's Miss Blondie. And those ones, that's just daffodils that came up late. Um, Nepita catmint have alceas in here. Dirty big weed. <laughs> um, this rose here is lovely. And it actually smells really nice as well. I don't think the yellow one that I planted has a scent. So if I was to plant um, roses again, maybe at the back, I'd definitely go for like scented ones. <laughs> but yeah, this has opened and it's given me so much joy. Hardy geraniums, I've got two of them here. The red rose. I love this rose because I think it's like one of the first plants I ever bought and it's literally from Little <laughs> and it's about it's probably about eight years old. Um, and I cut it back every spring and it just gets prettier. Every year, some poppies that are spent, some daffodils that are gone and that's a foxglove there, but I think it's a self-seed and it'll probably uh, come up next year. They're biennial. And climbers, the clematis that I planted is doing well as well. More hardy geranium. And then you'll remember that I planted up this section, I think like two videos ago. So the heucheras are settling in and I love how they just give a bit of fullness to like a shady area. Um, the buckets that I planted up back in, I think April, they're doing well. The cosmos in them are starting to flower. Just have a little bit of rubbish there that I need to bring to the recycle center. Not the pallet though, because you know I'm going to use the wood for that. <laughs> And then in the garden, I love how it looks when it's like all tidied up. So the bed of dahlias, doing really well. Still have a couple of onions. I'm still eating them. I smell lovely. <laughs> the sunflowers. <laughs> I know I've said this before, but I didn't sow sunflowers. I left a seed head out last year for the birds and this all self-sowed. <laughs> so, um then the flower bed that I did a bit of work on. So what I did was, and it's kind of, a lot of people are on the fence, I plaited or braided some of the spring bulbs because they say if you cut the foliage too soon, you're not gonna get a great plant like next year. And there was some daffodils in here. So I plaited them to let them go yellow and then I'll cut them. So this looks much tidier than what it did before. I still have loads of seedlings just outside of the greenhouse, just hardening off. And what else is happening? Alliums are just having their moment. Always lots of bees on these as well. And they just like add to it. Um, could do with tidying up here a little bit. Oh, Lupin. Lupin is looking lovely and yeah the hardy geraniums that I planted back in I think April are doing well and the delphinium so um, this one was in a pot and I thought it was dead I didn't realize that they're perennials they're not annuals and I was like going to show them out like there's one here They'll hopefully come up better next year because I broke the stem on that one accidentally. But how pretty is that? And it's very cottagey. Um, and then, yeah, that's the verbena that you saw last week. Also, I think this is more sunflowers. I think maybe the seed was in the soil or something. So I did plant bulbs, summer bulbs and that. And then these are <laughs> sunflowers everywhere. So I don't know the buckets from last week and I just popped like cosmos in some pots just I had some extra cosmos and I popped them around lavender is coming back and obviously strawberries actually do I have any strawberries I'd say 
this week I might get like the first one. My niece was checking them out yesterday and having a look to see if there was any ripe ones. But I, I love coming out and seeing, have I got a strawberry today? It just gives me a little bit of joy. And this is how the seating area is looking with a bit of parasol on top it's actually like an overcast day but it does make this section feel like it's a room or something so i think what i'll do is maybe later on this evening one thing i will have to do is i'm going to have to put the fire pit out anyway i'll have to play by ear because i imagine my parasol is going to trap in the smoke so i need to figure that one out but yeah this is how we are looking early june in the summer garden not looking too shoddy. That is what I got up to in the garden this week. I actually have a bit of a splitting headache. I hope it don't turn into no migraine. I'm after taking an ibuprofen and a paracetamol. She ain't lifting. So, no more garden work. I think they're towards the end of the week it's to get sunny. So one thing I need to keep an eye on is the potatoes because um, once they, did you see on Gardener's World today? He said, and once you said, once your potatoes start flowering, they need lots of water. So that's something I've been doing, is giving the potatoes loads of water. And yeah, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the watering, I think this week, because I notice when it gets warm, the even if it's not sunny, the soil dries up quick, quickly. I think there's a full moon tonight. Sometimes that happens to me. I feel a bit off and I'm like, what's the moon doing? I like to blame my problems on it. Here's Blendy. Queen Bee loves the cozy corner. I'm gonna leave it there for this video. That's what I got up to. And there's always jobs to do. There was a comment last week and someone was like, I can't wait to see when like you're finished. And I'm like, girl, I never finish. <laughs> you just keep, there's always something to do. But anyway, that's me for this video. I will pop a card to my other like cottage garden vlog videos if you wanna check them out. I upload them on a Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe, cheeky thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.